Welcome to this musculoskeletal ultrasound series. I'm Dr. Gautam Das from Dorodia, the pain clinic. Here, we'll be posting some of the very important musculoskeletal structure seen under the ultrasound. So first, we'll be demonstrating the 3D anatomy of that particular structures, and then we'll be scanning and demonstrating the different parts in this sonar anatomy. And also, we'll be demonstrating the needle trajectory for the interventional procedure. Supraorbital. So, where is supraorbital now? So, this is a, you know, over the reach of orbit. So, here you can see the small foramen. And this small foramen through which the supraorbital nerve, if I'm putting the nerves there, you'll see the nerves are coming out. See, the nerves is coming with the supraorbital, this is supratrochlear. So the supraorbital, what you can do is, we will be putting the probe over the eyebrow here, and then we'll be coming down towards the eye. And once we'll see that there is a break in the bone, that means that is the foramen. And we can sometimes get a pulsation, sometimes pulsation may not be visible. But when once you are seeing this foramen, you put your probe, I told you cryo is the choice there. Or if you wish to give the dextrose injection, local anesthetic steroid injection is nowadays obsolete, but still if you wish to give there, you have to give around the forum. So, I'll be placing, putting my probe over the eyebrow and I'll be just searching for the break in the bone. So that break of the bone will be your, the supraorbital foramen through which the nerve is coming out. So my, I'm putting the aspect marker on the lateral side. That means left hand side of the screen is your lateral side of the screen. So this is the bone, and I'm just coming down to search the search for the brick. Okay, so that is the brick. And you can see the pulsations also. Most of the times you'll be getting pulses. Increasing it. So this nerve is not seen here, but blood vessel is seen most of the time. So that is the blood vessel. And uh, your needle should come mostly, I prefer to come from the lateral to medial like this, and we'll be blocking that. I do the cryoneurolysis. The videos are there in your YouTube channel as well. So you just see how we are doing it. Cryoneurolysis is the choice. You cannot do the radio frequency ablation there because these are having the important sensory component and you cannot block it uh, by the radio frequency ablation. Only choice is either you give the, uh, the local anesthetic steroid or you can give the cryoneurolysis.